Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to doodle on your ruck painting. I've already sketched out a very basic outline. I'm going to ink in the general elements that I want to include. Of course this is just a suggestion because you'll make it your own. Sorry about this being a little on the blurry side, but it will clear up soon. I like to erase my pencil marks early on because I tend to forget to do it later. Sometimes I approach my doodles in three stages. The first stage is like a saying hi to my doodle by inking in the basic lines and shapes. Stage two is where me and my rock start to have a little conversation. I like to use circles, squares, and triangles, but you can use whatever shapes fit your fancy. Since doodling on a rock can be hard on your fine liners, I go for a larger nib to cover more space. Plus, is a little quicker. At first, it's pretty simple, like filling in certain areas like I'm doing now. So, going back to my conversation between me and my rock, it's kind of like a series of what ifs, and maybe if I do this is. For this stage, I'll go for a medium size nib. I use the medium nib to add some details to the darker, wider line. George, do you know what you're going to add? Nope. I'll just go with the flow. Now, I will say that there are certain elements that I will use now and again. But generally speaking, I have no idea how I'm going to do a doodle. That's just part of my style. Do your own style. Do what comes naturally to you. It'll develop over time. A quick word about my new pens. I ordered these fine liners from Tuli art to see how they work. And I have to say, these are pretty good. Just like my new Tuli art paint pens. And no, I'm not sponsored. I'll be using the gold and silver pens and the white one later in the video. So stay tuned for that. You can never have too many details.
Um, George, what are you going to do to that big old heart in the center of your stone? Patience, it's coming up. In some of my doodles, well, actually, most of my doodles, I like to add a surprise element. Something that will draw me deeper into the world of my doodle. After all, you are creating a world with your doodle. First, I drew a kind of a general idea. As I begin to ink in this brave new world, elements will come one after the other. Sometimes. But sometimes I'll put my doodle down, walk away, then, when I come back, the design often comes to me. This is where your inner voice comes in very handy. You will be amazed at what's inside you wanting to come out. So, okay, you might be thinking, George, this is way out there, dude. But give it a, a try. You see what I mean about using a, a smaller nib? You can add more details without them becoming so prominent. In stage three, I add in some bling. This takes the conversation to a whole new level. Although I love using my new metallic paint pens, I didn't like the editing process when I realized this part of the video was so blurry. Why does my phone think my hands are so much more interesting than what I'm doing? Apparently, my smartphone is, isn't that f smart. Fortunately, after I do the silver, it'll start to clear up more. See? All clear. I like to use a little bit of white as a highlight. Because our eyes are drawn to the brightest element, and since I want to draw the interest into the scene, I used a little bit of white in the heart. If you know someone who might like this video, go ahead and share it. Thanks.
if you like this doodle on your rock painting, check out the video coming up now on your screen. Be kind to others, be kind to yourself, and remember to t paint and doodle along the way. Until uh, next time, I'll see you later.